So I made a video on everything about Nest 2022 and all of you really loved it and requested me to make a video on everything about IIT 2022. So here I am making this video for all of you. In that video, you all loved a lot. You gave me hearts in the comments. So in this video also, I request you all, please support me by giving a heart in the comment section. That will really motivate me to make more of such useful content for all of you. Now, first thing first, if you are new to this channel, I want to tell you, you don't need anything outside my videos, my courses, the free resources, free mock test and a lot of things I am already giving you for NEST, IAT, KVPY, CMI, ISI, IACS exams like these. So my vision is to spread and guide students who are science aspirants or want to become scientists in future. So hi everyone, this is Vivek Dwedi and in this video, I am going to tell you each and everything about IAT 2020. So that is eligibility criteria, exam pattern, how to prepare for it, the counseling process and everything starting from the registration till you give the exam and then the exam analysis, counseling process until you get the seat at ISER and even after that. So I hope you all have seen my selections. Now what I am doing is not something very new to me. I have been doing this for last 1.5 years and we have some great selections you can all see here i have built a huge team of science aspirants and a whole team which is helping you to prepare for these exams this team has people from nizer iser iser pune kolkata mohali barhampur bhopal isi cmi etc so the top people are guiding you all who are already in various isers nizer cbs ISI, CMI, etc. So let's start the video. Now, first of all, a disclaimer that please note the official announcement of IIT 2020 date has not been done yet. The changes in the eligibility or the various other changes, you know, maybe in the syllabus or the exam pattern, no one knows till now. But based on my experience for past so many years and seeing the pattern of the paper, here I am going to tell you all the details. These may change and I'll make another video if it changes. Okay, if it changes, I'm definitely going to update you each and everything about IIT 2022 as the notification comes. Now, let's start with it. So, first of all, the eligibility criteria. If you go to the official ISER admission website, don't go to any other website, private websites. They sometimes give a lot of times, they actually give wrong information. Go only to the official ISER website and you will see here, iseradmission.in. In that, you will see the eligibility criteria. So, first of all, it is written here that due Due to COVID-19, the following amendment to eligibility criteria for admission to BSMS and BS programs of ISIS were relaxed in 2020 and will be continued in 2021. The cutoff marks in 10 plus 2 as eligibility for admission is 60% marks in aggregate or equivalent grade for general OBC and OBC NCL categories and 55% for SC, ST, PWD in any recognized board. So if I simply tell you that due to COVID-19, they relaxed the eligibility criteria. Earlier, the eligibility criteria was different. That is, you know, uh, they would generally consider top 1% uh, from each of the state board and like that. But in due to COVID-19 in 2020 and 2021, the eligibility criteria was uh, changed. It was 60% for general and OBC and STSC uh, PWD candidates had to get 55% in class 12th. That was the eligibility criteria. Now, please note, we are not sure, nobody knows if it is going to be the same in 2022 or it is going to change. So when it changes or a new official notification comes, I will definitely let you know what is the new eligibility criteria. But most probably if you ask my opinion, I am really not sure because we don't know 
there might be a new covid wave or there may not be any new covid wave now if i try to summarize because eligibility criteria there is a whole page on it you can go and check it out regarding class 12th and different streams so if i try to summarize it properly for you first of all i hope you know that there are three ways to get admission in isers kvby j advanced and scb channel scb means state and central boards channel now there are two types of eligibility criteria first is eligibility through kvpy j advanced scb second is through boards so what is the percentage marks required in the board and all that so first of all for kvpy obviously if you are uh, having kvpy fellowship you can apply if you are in first year and having kvpy fellowship you can apply for either admissions there will be a kvpy channel in the form you can apply through that if you are going through j advanced then for general and obc your rank crl common rank list should be below 15000 for other categories st sc obc ncl etc it should be less than 15000 for the respective category so for example for st your rank should be within 15000 in st category like that now coming to scb that is iit exam iser aptitude test channel you must have passed your class 12th exam you know in 2021 or 2022 that is either you are just uh, have passed uh, class 12th or you are going to give the class 12th on the same year as 2022 or you have passed the class 12th one year back that is first dropper so your immediate 12th students and the first dropper students can give iit iser aptitude test for 2022 and second that yes you need to have qualifying uh, percentage in class 12th boards now the second thing about the boards so there are lot of things for different types of boards you know if your board gives grades or the marks or aggregate percentage so you can read in this website you can clearly go and check it out for different boards it is given there there is no need to worry it's simple ultimately uh, you must be a uh, first dropper or you must have given your 12th this year in 2022 now regarding the syllabus the syllabus is given here as you can see i'll give the link in the description you can check the syllabus of iit exam and it is actually same every year and it is mostly the syllabus of class 11th plus 12th science stream that is physics chemistry maths and bio okay you can check this i'll give the link in the description and i would uh, suggest you you know also to visit the important chapters a lot of these chapters are given but not all chapters are equally important so i have already made a lot of videos on what are the most important chapters and questions are guaranteed from there yes they are guaranteed from there and last year a lot of questions from our mock test actually came in the exam okay that is how we actually trained our students and the actual iit exam was so much easier than our mock test that is what students told us now coming to the exam pattern so a lot of people ask me whether bio or maths is compulsory or not so the simple answer is no no subject is compulsory okay whether it is physics chemistry maths and bio nothing is compulsory you can choose which section to attempt and which section not to attempt so there are four sections physics chemistry maths and bio each section has 15 questions total and 3 marks each that means 15 into 3 45 marks for each section total 45 into 4 sections that is 180 marks so out of 180 marks your mandate list will be made whether you attempt physics chemistry maths or you attempt physics chemistry bio or you attempt physics chemistry maths bio all four subjects it does not matter it's totally simple the more you attempt the more uh, marks you get the more you have chances of getting admission or seat now so the exam pattern is very simple four sections each section having 15 questions each question having three marks total 60 questions each having three marks that is 180 marks now a lot of people will have problem because they will be just pcm or pcb students and the people having pcmb background are definitely in the advantage now but how will you prepare for pcb or pcm if you are having non maths or non bio background so first of all i would suggest you the question difficulty level is not very tough okay the question difficulty level is about 10 questions out of 15 are j mains level and sometimes even lower than that and about 5 questions are generally j mains to advanced level they are not all advanced level okay they are actually below advanced level almost all all the questions are below advanced level so the question difficulty level is actually very easy very easy as compared to nest exam especially now if you are pcb or pcm how to prepare for it so first of all pcmb students are in advantage and definitely they will be able to do both maths and bio so they are in advantage now for pcb students 
don't worry <laughs> you have my course you have my videos i am already telling in my previous videos also last year also i told a lot of pcb students my tricks and strategies and now a lot of them are in aizer pune aizer mohali aizer kolkata and almost all the aizers okay so we have more than 88 selections and our students are right now in various aizers and maximum i think in aizer pune so a lot of pcb and pcm students are right now at various aizers okay so you don't need to worry even if you're just pcm or pcb how will you prepare so obviously you have my courses spartan course and uh, later crash courses in which we are definitely teaching all four subjects and special guidance for non bio or non math students we are already giving it you can check the courses in the description below you can install my app and see various things bio is super super easy okay super easy so even if you are pcm student you know air1 adarsh v who got 165 out of 180 marks last year he is from our course he is hardcore maths lover okay he is right now in cmi chennai mathematical institute he used to love math he loves maths but still he did bio because bio is so easy that it increases you, your score by a lot a lot of math students pcm student in our course actually get more marks in bio than in maths itself like 35 out of 45 marks in bio they have never read bio okay after class 10th they have never read bio but after coming to our course uh, the doing the important chapters we give them they are doing so good in bio that they don't need even the marks of maths and they qualify it okay so for all the pcm student please for god's sake for your own sake don't leave bio bio is not difficult at all there are some important chapters that if you do you are going to rock the exam similarly for pcb people there will be certain problem uh, while going to maths because you did not read maths for 2 years which is not for uh, pcm student pcm student you know bio will be easy for them but for pcb people reading maths will be a bit tough so i would suggest you you know check out my courses if you can otherwise check the videos i have already made what are the important chapters you must do in maths and how you can find out easy questions from maths and try to get some marks out of it now again i would highly suggest you my courses are among the best actually there is no other such preparation till now i don't think it is available anywhere and i have built a great team from various iser from students of niger from cmi isi iacs so you are getting the study materials mock test you will get personal mentors who are right now in iser pune or iser kolkata so these students can share their experiences with you all so i would highly recommend you to join my courses and best thing you will get is peace of mind because you don't need to you know uh, go here and there for physics maths bio everything is at one place you don't need anything outside the course i have already made okay and it's already going on you can check the link in the description and install my app very importantly if you cannot buy the course what is the option for you option for you is the videos i am already sharing with you i am already giving you a lot of free study materials you know uh, mock test uh, revision plans so you can go to my app you will get a lot of free mock tests you can attempt them for nest iit kvpy and analyze yourself i have given a free revision plan for all of you you can check that revision plan and i'm already giving you the videos what are the important chapters in physics chemistry maths and bio that if you do definitely you can score a lot and guess what those things are actually repeating in the actual exam okay i'm not just telling anything here we have done our research we have worked so hard with my whole team and then we are telling you that these are the chapters and these are the topic where question is definitely going to come for sure now finally about the counseling process so you don't need to worry about the counseling process it is very simple they will release a list and you will just have to fill the form they will also mail you personally when you get selected and i am definitely there to help you all with the throughout the counseling process so when the registration is start i will update you you know when will be the exam i will update you how to prepare for the exam what to do just one day before exam what are the rules of admit card for the exam after exam what analysis of the question paper then the counseling process i have been doing this for last 1.5 years okay so i'm definitely going to help you don't worry about it now finally how will you contact me if you want to in case of any problem so you can install my app sai extra from the play store link is given in the description and you can personally message me when you install the app and log in you will get an automated message that hi welcome to the app and how can i help you when you reply to that message 
I check each and every matches of the app. Okay, whole day I am active on the app. So I definitely reply to you. I have replied to each and every student who has asked me anything on the app. So you can just message me personally in the app itself. So I hope this video was really useful to all of you. Please give me that heart in the comments and I'll heart you back. That will really motivate me to make more of such useful content. If you have any problems, you can write in the comments below and please share this video. Like this video right now like this video right now that will really motivate me uh should i give some target to the likes generally youtubers too okay so i think i should give a uh, 300 likes that should be enough i think that is very less actually but let me just give you the target of 300 likes please like this video right now and comment a heart in the comment section i'll heart you back if you have any questions you can ask here in the comments or in my app so with that all the best take care i'll update you continuously about the iat exam j advanced channel kvy channel for iser admission so with that all the best take care and i have to go to lab now to complete my experiment and we have some lab meetings and presentations so that also i have to do so with that guys all the best tata take care bye thank you